Uh, Jonathan, good, good to see you. Obviously, a great win last night by 20 against Launceston and then to back it up in a tough one today, though. What are your thoughts from that? Yeah, it was a real grind for us. Um, you know, Hobart came out and did a, an exceptional job defensively, taking us out of our stuff. Um, we thought we did a good job defensively in the first half, and then we just gave up way too many points. I think we gave up 40 odd points in the second half. But you know, full credit to Hobart coming out and physically taking it to us. You know, McCauley and Shear being able, to, both of them being able to play inside outside, really stretched our bigs. Um, it really showed some weaknesses of our defensive group. Certainly, that second half was a bit of a bit of a, a bit of a factor. We obviously the the road trip and being a bit tired there towards the end was that a concern? Uh, look, we definitely looked lethargic, but our ability to still put on points, um, I thought was pretty impressive. You know, we scored 98 last night, 78 today, and um, it was just our ability to grind out down the defensive end. Like we just um, had brain fades defensively, which we shouldn't do because um, that's that wants to be a focus of ours. But you know, again. To walk away from Tasmania with two wins against two quality sides, oh, I can't be happier, but it, it does show and highlight what we need to do to be a real genuine contender. Were you surprised down the stretch that some of the youngsters for about, like Shana Thompson and that, hitting some big shots down the stretch to get the margin back? Yeah, definitely not surprised. We talked about it. Um, you know, they the had them on the scout note that they can shoot the three. Um, time out was definitely stay at home and, you know, I think it was Morgan we leave open to stick a three to get that thing back within... Um, you know, within grabbing distance for Hobart. So that was a real frustration that's going to come up on the film during the week. Um, but again, you know, full credit to both. I thought both teams played the game really hard and I thought it was a great contest and the fact that, you know, both coaches burned all their time outs to try and squeeze out an extra possession. I thought it was a great game of basketball. Obviously being here at the Dern Entertainment Centre, new complex, new venue, uh, bigger to what you're used to. You enjoyed it? Uh, absolutely. I just took a video that I'm sending back home to show what a um, you know a home game entertainment should be. You got the band in and uh, going. You got a great crowd. Um, I, it's a fantastic venue. It's it's great, and uh, I hope you guys continue to be the benchmark here of a game night. It, it's fantastic. Obviously, now you look ahead to, to next week, and and what? So you said you were looking at the tape. What what are things to improve for? I uh, definitely us defensively. So, you know, we got Sydney next week and, you know, they've got a lot of firepower. Um, we're trying really hard to, to nut down what we want to do defensively and so that's going to be tough for us. And obviously you had a really good start to the season. I believe you're on top of the ladder and you've only dropped, I think, the one, the one game, I think, one or two games. Yeah, I said to the, in the room with the girls that Nutter Wadding's going to come back and, and haunt us. We lost that by a shot. Um, but, you know, again, we're tied head to head oh, we've got head to head on Dan Nong on top of the ladder but uh, it's such an even competition you know like Launceston and I only dropped one game and the, that score line didn't indicate how good they were and, and, your, and Hobart's win loss record doesn't indicate how tough they are so our, our conference is really tough um, if we take our foot off it, you know we go back into the pack every win helps us you know hold a hopefully a top two spot. Well, Jonathan, great win today. Uh, best of luck for next week and best of luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank you very much.